Hello, in this video I'll be talking about a brand new piece of equipment from Victron Energy and that's the Serbo GX. The Serbo GX is the latest item in the GX product family which also includes the Colour Control GX. It helps you monitor and control a Victron Energy system either locally or remotely via the internet. There are endless items you can connect to the Serbo and there's a blog post as well as a range of ideas on the items product page to give you inspiration. So what's in the box? You have five pressure release connectors, two VE CAN terminators, the power cable, this includes an inline one amp slow blow fuse and M8 crimp terminals and finally the Serbo device itself. There are four corner screw holes to either mount the unit on the wall or to the DIN 35 adapter for DIN rail mounting. Across the bottom of the unit, firstly I'll plug the power socket in. There are five more connector sockets across the bottom. Two programmable relays that can be configured as either normally open or normally closed. These could be used to start and stop a generator or trigger an alarm. For digital inputs, these could be from bilge pumps, door switches or from an alarm panel. For temperature inputs, you can keep track of the temperature for things like batteries, an engine bay, a refrigerator or the external environment. Lastly along the bottom are four tank level inputs. These could be from fuel, water, grey water or bilge resistant levels. The unit not only has built-in Wi-Fi, but this is the first device from the GX range to also include Bluetooth. You'll see on the top, the Wi-Fi access point LED starts to flash orange and then green. The Bluetooth blue LED will also start to flash. It's now ready for us to connect. Using the Victron Connect app, I can connect to the Serbo GX via Bluetooth. The device will be shown in the device list and I simply select it. I want to set up the Serbo GX to connect to my VRM online account, so I click the cog at the top right. Network, scan for the network and connect to it. Enter the password and now it's online. When you are connected to the same network as the Serbo using Victron Connect, you'll see I can access the remote console as though I was right in front of it. Time to rotate. You'll see nothing is connected at the moment, so let's start connecting all the kit. Across the top of the Serbo are three USB ports. These could be used for keyboard, GPS modules or for the GX GSM if you don't have a local Wi-Fi network. An HDMI, I'll go into this later on. Three VE Direct ports and a network port if you want to hardwire to an internet router. I'm going to use two VE Direct ports and connect a BMV712 battery monitor and an MPPT. Under these ports are two BMS CAN ports. These can be used when batteries have CAN bus BMS communications. Two VE CAN ports. These can be used with smart solar MPPTs, the NMEA2000 network or other inverters that use VE CAN. Lastly, there is two VE bus ports. I'll be connecting a Victron Energy MultiPlus to this port to indicate the AC load. Now that all my equipment is connected, let's send all the data to my VRM account. I simply click the VRM online portal button at the bottom of the Victron Connect app. Initially, this will require you to authorise and connect the Serbo to your VRM account. All the data from the Serbo will now be pushed at whatever interval you have set to the VRM portal for you to see anywhere in the world. You can turn relays on and off, see the temperature of the engine room or see how many litres of fuel you have remaining, all remotely via an internet connection. But what if you wanted to see the information locally without any network connections? Remember the HDMI port I mentioned earlier? You can connect a GX Touch 50 screen accessory to this port. So what's in the GX Touch box and what do you get with it? Firstly, you get a 12.7cm touch screen display 
with a 1.8 meter HDMI and USB cable, a mounting template diagram, a surface mount and a bag of mounting screws and a separator tool. This new one cable touch control display eliminates the need for all your equipment cables to be fed up to the display on a dashboard or cockpit. I'll connect the HDMI cable to the Serbo GX and its neighbouring USB to provide the power. This complements the whole system and you can monitor all your equipment, levels and temperatures locally via the GX Touch 50 screen or Bluetooth as well as remotely via the VRM portal. In the description below are links to a manual that details every section of the Serbo, all its internal settings as well as links to a Victron Energy blog and the product pages for the Serbo GX.